So there's a hole in the bottom of this cabinet. And uh, I'm gonna put some Bondo in there and then uh, sand it and paint it. Uh, I have this laying around, two sticks. I cut it in half. It was one stick, I cut it in half. I'm gonna put them underneath here. Um, screwed at both ends next to each other to fill in to give us something to to put the bondo uh, against start by putting a couple screws in the middle of your piece get your drill ready put one in I just have to remember where where I was holding that screw. What you can do let me show you put the heads down um, just below the surface like so Now I'm gonna vacuum this out again and uh, start mixing up some Bondo. Now this is not a video about Bondo. This is just an idea on how to fix something. If you want a tutorial on mixing up Bondo, you can go to their website. And this is not actually Bondo brand, but it's the same stuff. I can't do everything in these videos. have to focus on one thing for the videos and I usually don't do simple things like how to use Bondo or that kind of stuff because there's so many um, videos already out there about that kind of stuff. I'm just trying to do videos about unique ways to repair stuff and unique ways to build things that you may not find elsewhere. That's what my channel is about. If you're going to sand this, which we will be sanding I will be you just want to make sure you don't have a lot to sand so get it down feathered out nicely you can do is uh, at least what I've done so that you don't have to sand so much you wait till the bondo or body filler gets to be like 
It's like the texture of soap. Um, it's kind of set up, but not, but not fully. You can kind of carve, carve it with a putty knife. So that thick, thicker part here, once it starts to set up, um, I can take a putty knife and scrape some of it. So I'll come back after it's set up. Well, let's see if uh, see if I got to it soon enough. A neighbor started talking to me. I would have gotten to it a little sooner. One thing that would uh, improve this, I just couldn't spend the time doing that, but. Uh, You've probably seen at the hardware store or by paint section, they've got what they call a wood hardener. It's like a real thin, it just seems more like a thin down lacquer that uh, penetrates wood and then sets up down in there. Kind of gives you a, uh, a, a new surface to paint to. That kind of thing. It just stabilizes the wood a little bit. I can always come back with some more filler from this spot. I'll come back when it's set up.